Diaphragmatic breathing is a foundational concept of all EBFA education and the bear workout. Breathing is very important to cue because it's deeply tied in to how we engage our pelvic floor and how we stabilize from the ground up with foot to core sequencing. You will see throughout the workouts and the rest of this training that it is actually the exhalation that drives pelvic floor stabilization, foot to core sequencing, and short foot exercise. Now, in some of our clients, they may not have the appropriate diaphragm connection, which means it's important to understand diaphragmatic breathing in itself, how to cue it, how to incorporate it, and maybe we need to do this at the start of the session or maybe even the start of the workout, depending on how you design your class. Now, diaphragmatic breathing can also be referred to as sub-diaphragmatic breathing. Some people will call it belly breathing, or some people will actually refer to it as three-dimensional breathing. So the three dimensions that we want to focus on are going to be rib cage expanding, belly goes out, and pelvic floor goes down. These movements or dimensions will be occurring on the inhalation. So as we inhale, the belly should rise, as we inhale, the rib cage should expand, and as we inhale, the pelvic floor should relax or drop. It doesn't completely let go, but it should drop, okay? So we can do this either seated, you can do this on your back, you can do it in a quadruped, you can do it on your stomach. For the sake of this training, we're going to do it on our back. So what I'm gonna do is have you assume a position on your back with your knees bent, and your feet flat on the floor. Now step one, anytime you do diaphragmatic breathing, is you want to make sure that your rib cage and your pelvis are stacked. If I'm in a position that I'm in a strong anterior tilt and my rib cage is flaring, this makes it difficult for the diaphragm to engage and the pelvic floor engage. So we always want to use step one, stack the rib cage with the pelvis. You then are going to place your hands, one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest. This starts to build an awareness to how your clients are breathing. They can shut their eyes throughout this exercise if you would like, or they could stay open. Now I like to cue inhale and exhale through the nose. There's different beliefs and philosophies on this pattern, but for the sake of this, I'm going to be cueing inhale and exhale through the nose. I'm gonna have you take an inhale and then an exhale. And these are just relaxed breath. Inhale again and exhale. Now, if you're familiar with diaphragmatic breathing, you are most likely breathing into the belly and having it rise every time you inhale. For the clients or member who is not familiar with it, most likely they're breathing into their chest. So you'll see the hand on the chest moving. Ideally, we want to have hand on the chest static, and then all the inhale is below the diaphragm and breathing into the belly rising. If you're noticing the hand on top moving, you'll then have to cue them to bring their awareness below the diaphragm and to allow the belly to rise. Um, some people who feel a little bit too engaged in their core, they're dominantly engaging in the rectus abdominis, sometimes they have difficulty letting go to allow the belly to rise. So just note that as well. Your next position, you'll want to bring your hands to the rib cage. Some people like to cross their arms across, or you can bring your hands to the side. Again, inhale and exhale. And exhale. Every time you inhale, I want you to feel that yes, the belly is still rising, but this time your rib cage is expanding. Again, the focus has to be below the diaphragm. Your third dimension is going to be breathing down into the base of your pelvis. For this, you may either keep your hands on the rib cage or you could put one on the sternum and one on the abdomen. Again, inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now the longer the inhalation, the more it gives you an opportunity to feel the rib cage expand, feel the belly rise, and feel breathing down into the base of the pelvis. If you can inhale for a good five, six seconds, that will help you feel those three dimensions. Again, if your client is having difficulty accessing any of these dimensions, we need to perhaps shut the eyes and bring a focused awareness to where that breath is going. The more that you practice diaphragmatic breathing, the easier it is for your clients to connect to it. And it's also a great way to connect to balancing the autonomic nervous system and helping get in your client into what's referred to as a parasympathetic state so that they are ready for that workout.